Breaking news out of the FBI, it's a huge one. New emails have surfaced regarding the meeting last year between former President Bill Clinton and then Attorney General Loretta Lynch and they paint an eye-opening picture of the kind of corruption going on during the former administration. Judicial Watch, a conservative watchdog group released over 29 pages of emails they obtained on the matter that revealed the FBI went on a frantic manhunt for the person who leaked information about the meeting. The email messages make it clear the FBI was way more concerned about the leaker than the actual meeting itself, which was a pretty shady affair, given it was an election year and a presidential candidate's husband was meeting with current government officials secretly while said candidate was under federal investigation. Initially, the FBI had claimed to have no records or documents about the Lynch-Clinton meeting, until they uncovered the ones that were later turned over to Judicial Watch. One of the messages sent from an FBI account in early July of 2016 said the following, We need to find that guy and bring him or her before a supervisor. Another said the source should be banned from working security details. Fox News has a few more details. Officials speculated that the source of the leak was a Phoenix police officer. One official said they contacted the Phoenix office and would try to stem any further damage. One official in a July 2 email, said the article represented a breach in security protocol and the Phoenix Division would be pressured to identify the source of the breach. Judicial Watch said all names on the emails were redacted and there is no documentation showing concern over the meeting itself. One of the reasons this meeting became such an important and talked about issue is because of the timing. The investigation into Clinton for her use of a private email server to conduct official government business including the sending of classified information over this server, had not yet been completed when hubby Bill met with Lynch. You can see why this would alarm so many folks, as it certainly appears the pair were meeting to discuss how to get Hillary out of the mess she was in and to do some damage control before the election. Whether that's what happened or not is anybody's guess and is speculation. Even former FBI Director James Comey thought the meeting was problematic stating so during Senate testimony. The powwow took place just a few days before Comey himself delivered the news to the media that Hillary wouldn't be facing any charges for the email debacle. Convenient timing, right? What truly boggles the mind is that Comey also stated that Clinton had been extremely careless in her handling of classified documents, yet still opted not to file charges and Lynch accepted this recommendation, so yeah, that looks just a tad bit off, doesn't it? Lynch herself stated that she regretted attending the meeting with Bill Clinton while his wife was being investigated, stating that the encounter cast a shadow on how the public would perceive the case and potentially influence the election. She went on to say she certainly wouldn't do it again. This seems like a clear case of remorse precipitated by getting caught with one's hand in the cookie jar. In other words, none of the individuals involved are sorry because what they did was wrong, but because they got caught doing it. There's a huge difference. It certainly pays to have friends in high places, because Hillary has managed to escape being held accountable for getting Americans killed in Benghazi, violating federal law regarding classified information, and a whole host of other issues. Let's hope that one day, her luck runs out and she has to pay the piper. Piper.